A lot of people ask me how they can keep their harp clean and preserve the beauty of its finish. Here are a few tips on keeping your harp looking as beautiful as it did when it left the showroom floor. One of the simplest ways to keep your harp clean is to wash your hands before you play. This will keep the natural oils on your skin from getting on your harp and building up over time. It's also a great idea to dust your harp off on a regular basis with a very soft cloth such as this flannel polishing cloth from the music store and you just run it up and down the soundboard and everywhere else where dust can collect just like this. Like that. Just real gently anywhere you can reach. There's another good spot here. Now if you see uh, dust starting to build up on the action parts, tuning pins, discs, bridge pins, it's really hard to get in there with a cloth, so it's a great idea to give yourself a, a kind of a fairly stiff bristle uh, stencil brush like this one, and then you can get in there and wipe dust off of those parts like this. Not only does this make the harp look better, but it's a great idea to keep dust from collecting around this area because it can get inside the action where all the parts are coated with grease to keep them lubricated and that dust loves to stick to the grease and enough of it over time and the mechanism will get gummed up and damaged. So it's great to keep the dust from collecting. The brush also comes in really handy for carved harps that will have a lot of intricate shapes in the column and for corners and hard to reach areas where it's difficult to get in with a cloth such as down at the bottom of this harp, the angle where the soundboard meets the baseboard. So I can get in here and wipe out some of these spots, like this corner here, and underneath, like that. I can do the same thing around on the back side as well. It's a great idea to get in the habit of buffing off the areas of the harp that your body frequently touches. Uh, that includes the upper part of the harp's body where your arms tend to go and lower down when you're seated at the harp where your legs and knees tend to go. Those are the places where dirt can build up a little bit more quickly and need a little bit more attention. So all you need to do is just polish off those spots with a clean, dry polishing cloth to keep any buildup from happening. And you can do the same thing a little bit down lower here, right about where you would be sitting. Like that. Avoid using hand or skin lotion until after you're done practicing your harp. Uh, as you play, the lotion can collect on the strings and on the finish and causes more smudging and builds up over time. It can be pretty hard to remove. Now, it's a, it's a great idea to periodically polish your harp with uh, a polish designed for musical instruments. And uh, some of them are a cream like this, and some of them come in a spray bottle. In either case, you want to take some care not to get polish on the strings. So this one's a cream I can just dab into my polishing cloth. If I had a spray bottle, I would go ahead and spray that onto the cloth, not onto the harp. And that way I would keep the spray from getting anywhere I didn't want it to go. Now a little of this polish goes a long way. I've just got a little dime-sized piece. I'm going to start wiping that on like that. Maybe that amount could do an area about that large. And I'm staying away from the strings. And after I've wiped that on pretty well, I just let it dry for a bit. And then when it dries, I come back with a clean cloth. And I'll go ahead and polish that up. Now you don't want to overdo polishing because the polish itself will build up and that gets to look worse than the harp did before. So a little goes a long way and it's probably, if you're keeping your harp clean, it's probably not necessary to use polish more than once a year. If your harp does get dirty, or if you buy a used harp and the previous owner didn't watch this video and learn all these great tips, you might find that the harp is too, too dirty to keep clean with just a dry cloth. In that case, go ahead and 
lightly moisten a clean cloth. Uh, I've got some water on this, but not so much that it's going to drip when I wipe it on the harp. And go ahead and go over the trouble spots with the damp rag. You can scrub lightly. I'm do a little bit on the back side too here. And hopefully that'll help you loosen up the dirt and it'll come off in your rag. And I want to follow that up right away with a dry cloth. Keep the moisture off the surface of the harp. And once that has a chance to dry a little bit, then I'll just polish it up a little bit more. Now, if the harp is so dirty that, that even that doesn't do it, one thing you can try is to just let it rest and then do it again. But if water just won't take the dirt off, it's fine also to add just a little bit of a mild liquid soap to your wet cloth. Uh, mild dish soap works really well, just a little bit, because it's going to make a lot of suds. And you can just do the same thing. Uh, once you finish with the, the soapy cloth, you want to rinse it with a, just a cloth moistened with water and then again dry off immediately afterwards with your dry cloth. Be mindful of the environment your harp lives in. Keep the room where you keep your harp as clean and dust-free as possible. Keep your harp out of direct sunlight and away from air conditioners and heating vents. Try to keep the temperature and humidity in the room as constant as you can. Now, you don't have to go crazy and you don't have to shoot for an exact temperature humidity level, but the less it changes, the better. If you live in a climate with a lot of seasonal change, such as the northern or southern United States where it's very warm and humid in the summer and hot and, or cold and dry because of our heating systems in the wintertime, it's a great idea to consider running a dehumidifier in the summer and a humidifier in the wintertime.